Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about a important parameter of ABB ACS 880 drive. Before we know about that parameter, I want to discuss that where that drive is used. We have a 17 km conveyor belt and that conveyor belt run by three motors. One is in the tail end and another two is in the head end. I have drawn that conveyor belt simply but there is more equipment like take up pulley and the winds system and the tensioning system but I didn't include that all but I want to only show simple diagram to discuss okay so this motor is 630 kilowatt and matter loaded in trail end and discharge here and you know that there is a function name is as master floor where that master floor function used in the drive there when a equipment like conveyor belt or a system that run by two or three motor and that can be flexibly coupled or rigidly so there you have to use master floor function okay so if your equipment uh, flexibly connect or rigidly like rigidly connect that equipment by two motor then you have to use master floor as a torque control okay you have to share load perfectly as a torque control otherwise your equipment will broke okay or if you have a equipment couple flexible like that conveyor belt then you can control speed control because there is a provision there you can allow some speed difference like 10 rpm because this is a flexible there are some tension you can allow but in our case the, there is a very much critical it is a 17 kilometer conveyor belt and that conveyor belt cost is heavy so you have to control precisely there is a another parameter name it as a add mode so you know as torque mode and speed mode so third mode is add mode so you can run master floor drive by three way torque mode speed mode and add mode then what is add mode add mode is that mode run by speed plus torque that both will control so in that mode master floor mode it can be torque speed or add both all cases speed set point come from the dcs to only one motor and that motor is called master so master motor will share the e speed to another so here our master is motor 3 and other two motor motor 1 and motor 2 floor motor and uh, the drive called the floor drive okay so e speed come from the dcs to motor 3 and it is distributed the torque and e speed to that motor 2 and motor 1 today we will not discuss more about that master floor why we are discuss and what is the parameter that is our topic okay that topic is that when the motor we have give a command to run that motor and set given the set point to motor 3 that motor 3 and motor 1 take high current and also take high torque because of taking the high torque it is taken more load more current and system is tripping motor 2 is not taking more torque you also the current why it is happen earlier all three motor motor one motor two motor three run by same series of drive and that is ACS 800 but because of the spare availability we have replaced the motor two drive by ACS 880 so we have two old motor old drive that 8800 run to motor one and motor three and new drive run motor 2 okay so last year abb engineer commission and it is running recently we are facing that motor 1 and motor 2 taking more current so we have checked the trend torque is taking high motor 1 and motor 3 motor 2 is not taking as it should take okay. if we see the the diagram for now i have only shown here three trend for three drive and that is the torque here we can uh, see the speed torque power current but if we take 
all the train here then it will be see as hazy so for understanding i have shown only torque see this orange color train is for master that is bs30 and this is bs10 and this is bs20 see bs20 is taking the torque slowly okay that's why it is taking um, this to take the high current because the most of the load carry by this two motor and that's why the current also high and it is tipping so we have so we have check the parameter okay and the parameter we have changed if we see that again here that it is not ramping up the torque means it is taking the torque very fast but it is not taking it fast okay means you have to increase the ramp how we can increase the ramp by decrease the acceleration time so there are two types of acceleration type one is speed acceleration second is torque acceleration here you can see the acceleration speed acceleration and that is for all 290 second it is a long conveyor belt that's why speed should increase slowly okay so 290 it almost 5 minutes to take the full speed okay same way the torque should take ramp up okay so ramp up time means the torque high increasing but as it is take the low torque so uh, taking the more time so you have to decrease that torque time okay if you decrease the time it will take the torque it will change the torque fast okay so first we have changed from 60 to 50 second it is the this value this parameter we have taken before change means earlier when the characteristics of the torque like this that time our parameter was 60 second okay now we have changed to 50 second then we have observed it is uh, changed very much improved so we have changed from 50 second to 40 second it was also good okay then we have changed to 38 second okay so we have observed that it was okay and uh, current is almost same and you can see that this orange trend is the bs30 and this one is the bs20 and it is taking almost nearly same okay and speed difference also okay and we didn't change more because the current starting current uh, it was almost uh, same about 5 to 10 ampere and that was negligible so we have kept it as a 38 second and now it is running perfectly so if you have if you face any issue when you configure the master floor drive you have to check that parameter that torque chain reference chain 